in this video i will discuss about ultrasonic flow measurement uh, technique so ultrasonic flow meters are the non intrusive flow meters which means that there is no restriction in the flow path if you see unlike orifice flow meter which uses a uh, restriction which causes unnecessary uh, losses due to the pressure drop so this is the advantage of ultrasonic flow meter so the measuring principles that uh, ultrasonic may, um, ultrasonic flow meter uses doppler effect type and transit time uh, measurement for the measurement of uh, flow flow rate so ultrasonic flow meter uses ultra uh, sounds so the velocity of the ultrasound is depending upon the medium if you see the velocity of ultrasound is greater is greater in solids uh, compared to liquids and gases so the velocity of sound uh, in various uh, mediums at 25 degree centigrade is as shown below so for gases uh, like air it is 346 meter per second and uh, in liquids it is uh, like water is 1497 meter per second and for solid like carbon steel it is 30 to 30 meter per second so the velocity of the sound is highly depending upon the medium and it is uh, greater in solids uh, compared to liquids and compared to gases so up to 20 kHz it is known as audio frequency range above 20 kHz it's an ultra flow ultra sound frequency range and up to 500 kHz is generally used for gas measurement and from 500 kHz to 2 MHz it is used for liquid measurement and the different frequencies will affect the penetrating power in the medium and also the divergence of uh, the acoustic beam if you take uh, for uh, lower frequencies it is having higher penetrating power but uh, the um, beam will be diverged more which causes unnecessary reflection if you see for higher frequency the penetrating power is less but the uh, beam is very focused which uh, removes unnecessary reflections so measuring principles are doppler effect type uh, ultrasonic flow meter and transit time uh, differential method ultrasonic flow meter in this video i will discuss only the doppler effect type of ultrasonic flow meter in the next video i will discuss about transit time type uh, flow meter so what is doppler effect so whenever uh, wave energy like sound or radio waves that travels between the two objects that is one is the source and the observer so there is a frequency shift that is um, observed by the observer so whenever there is a relative motion between these uh, source and the observer and this is called as uh, doppler effect and this doppler effect uh, causes a frequency shift uh, that is measured uh, by an observer or source and it is directly related to the relative motion of the source and the observer so in, if you see in the below figure uh, the for, uh, di three different conditions uh, we have shown so in the first condition whenever there is no change in distance between the source and the receiver so the frequency that is received is of same as of the, the source frequency and if there is an increasing distance between the source and the receiver so the frequency that is um, observed by the uh, receiver is less compared to that of the source frequency and if the distance between the um, source and uh, receiver is decreasing means it is coming closer so the observer uh, observes a higher frequency compared to that of the source so there is a direct uh, relationship between the uh, frequency shift and also the velocity of the motion between the source and the observer so the Doppler effect we will commonly come across, everyone uh, commonly come across, whenever if you stand on the road and uh, ambulance or any uh, policeman passes you, whenever it is coming near to you, there is a high pitch which causes an increase in the sound and whenever it uh, passes uh, away from you, it uh, causes low pitch means which decreases with the frequency. And the same principle is used for uh, measuring the flow rate in ultrasonic flow meters. So the ultrasound is um, focused on to the liquid which is having some bubbles or uh, particles and they they will act as an observer and the reflected frequency is again measured by the source and this velocity uh, is uh, measured by the ultrasonic flow meter we know that uh, flow rate equal to area in area of cross section of the pipe into velocity so as area is known if you put this uh, velocity measured velocity in the flow rate we will get uh, the volumetric flow rate 
so if you say if you see this um, uh, symbol whenever uh, the observer is moving towards the stationary source so the frequency that is observed by the observer is f dash equal to v plus v naught into f by v where v is the velocity of the sound v naught is the velocity of the moving observer and f is the transmitted frequency whereas in our case an ultrasonic ophrometer that uses doppler um, effect type so it uses the pulse echo technique what is pulse echo technique so the source that is um, sending the pulse uh, from an ultrasonic uh, transmitter so it is of uh, frequency f so whenever uh, any observer that is particles are uh, um, coming closer or coming slower or faster so will cause a frequency shift f dash so this is f dash is the echo so and this echo again is to be measured by the source that is a transmitter only in the receiving mode so and this is measured and this causes a frequency shift of f double dash so if you see in the normal um, simple case so whenever the observer is measuring it is f dash and whereas if uh, source itself is measuring the uh, uh, a reflected frequency from the observer it becomes f double dash and it causes a double shift in the frequency the right side figure if you see delta f if we calculate we are getting f into v naught in cos theta by y this is the frequency that is uh, frequency shift that is measured by the observer whereas in um, ultrasonic uh, flow meter that using doppler effect the ultrasonic transmitter will self acts as an observer on the source the, the, that uses a pulse echo technique for this we have to sh take the twice the shift uh, which is given by delta f equal to 2 into f v naught into cos theta by v finally we will get v naught which is the velocity of the moving observer and uh, the flow rate uh, flow velocity delta f by v into 2 f by cos theta where f is the transmitted frequency v is the velocity of the sound so the basic principle, basic principle of operation employs the frequency shift that is a Doppler effect of ultrasonic signal. So when it is reflected by suspended particles or gas bubbles that is present in uh, liquid. So this is one of uh, the disadvantage with the Doppler effect type is there should be some foreign particles or uh, gas bubbles to be present for uh, proper operation of this uh, flow meter. So as the suspended particles or bubbles will move with the same velocity as that of the fluid velocity, an ultrasonic wave is projected at an angle through the pipe wall uh, into the liquid by a transmitter that is mounted outside the pipe as shown. So the frequency of the reflected wave is shifted according to the Doppler effect and it is measured by the transducer same uh, by using a pulse echo technique and this uh, flow velocity is given by Vf equal to C that is the velocity of the sound which we have discussed earlier into delta F which is the frequency shift by 2 into F the transmitted frequency into cos theta where theta is the angle of uh, um, inclination that is uh, sending uh, uh, the ultrasonic waves into the uh, flow tube so finally the velocity of the moving uh, fluid is directly proportional to the delta f so to accurately determine the Doppler frequency shift the transmitted frequency must be known and the constant so that it can be compared to the returning signal so the angle of isolation means the angle at which the transducer is injecting the um, the uh, waves into the uh, pipe is very important and for cos 0 it is 1 and cos 90 is equal to 0 angles between 0 and uh, 60 are more uh, commonly usable 